Are you curious about the potential impact of OpenAI chat GPT on automation, performance, and security testing? Tune into this episode of the Automation and DevSecOps News Show for the week of December 11th. We'll explore the latest developments and discuss what this means for the future of testing. So grab your favorite cup of coffee or tea and join us for an informative and enlightened discussion. <laughs> that was actually written by ChatGPT. I probably would never use enlightened in a sentence, but there you go. Are you looking to take your automation project to the next level? Look no further than Apply Tools and their visual AI validation testing. Trust me, it's a game changer. Plus, you could try it for yourself by creating a free account. Just click the link in the comment below and see the difference for yourself. And while you're there, don't forget to like, subscribe, and get notified every time I release a new episode. That also was written by ChatGPT. <laughs> First up, automation news. So as you can tell, there's going to be a special edition pretty much focused on ChatGPT. It's been the rage all week. So let's go over some news items I found that cover this. I guess before we get into these news items, it probably makes sense for me to describe what ChatGPT is. So I went to ChatGPT and it told me to explain itself to a beginner in a very pithy sentence. And this is what it told me. ChatGPT is a type of artificial intelligence language model that is trained to generate human-like responses to text input. It can be used to automate conversational tasks, such as responding to customer inquiries or generating personalized content. ChatGPT is unique in its ability to generate coherent and natural sounding responses, making it a powerful tool for many applications. And we're going to see how we can actually apply this to automation testing, performance testing, and security testing in this episode. So this next article comes your way via Beth Marshall on OpenAI, three ways it can help software testers. Let's check it out. All right, so I really like about this article. It's by a practicing tester. So I think it's a good breakdown, very fair on ways OpenAI can possibly assist you as a software tester. So Beth goes over how she came across OpenAI, the two camps she sees folks in that she's seen online, which I agree with, shows how to get started, what you can do as it applies to automation. This is really cool. She used it for Postman. Pretty neat section how you can use chat GPT to research and even write content, use codecs to cross-reference or draft test automation scripts. So really well thought out blog post. Thank you, Beth, for this. And you can definitely check that out in the first comment down below. So I found a real detailed breakdown specific to chat GPT of a tester's experience using it with their thoughts. This is by Wayne, who's one of the must follows I have for really great insight around testing automation. And he wrote, GPT is pretty impressive and nobody said it was supposed to test code well, but he still had to check it out. And this document that he posted below actually has the results of his investigation. And I love how he goes about first framing the problem, what he did, the testing problem he put forth to chat GPT, making the test code, the raw transcript, and asking it to test the code it wrote, which is pretty cool. Look at this, look at this document, really great detail. So definitely check this out. So thank you, Wayne, for this resource because I think it's really gonna help folks get some more insight into what ChatGPT can and cannot do. Now, as I said, this has been all over the place. And so this next article is also on ChatGPT, but it's the experience from James Bach. So he also documents his interaction with ChatGPT, uh, the type of test that he ran or type of responses he got back. But the conclusion that he believes chat GPT is a dangerous technology that will hurt a lot of people. So once again, James take. So I want to give you different perspectives to try to get you to think and check it out for yourself. And I'd love to know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. And once again, I highly recommend you follow folks like Jason Arburn. He's not only a tester, but he knows AI. He had a company based on AI. So he's one of the few people I think that actually really know testing and really know AI to know what it can and cannot do. He's posted so much on this that I just, just give him a shout out and let's check out his profile really quick to show you all the things he's been posting on ChatGPT. So if you go to his activity, you can see uh, most of the things are all around ChatGPT, his experience with it, his thoughts on it, what he's done with it. And so I definitely recommend you check out Jason uh, to really get a perspective from someone that really knows AI. So if you really want to take a deeper dive with the community of software testers, automation engineers on automation, 
AI, these type of topics, you definitely want to check out Automation Guild. We just opened up registration for the seventh annual online event dedicated 100% to helping you succeed with automation testing. So I have a link to this. You should definitely check it out and register now for the 2023 event that's taking place February 6th to the 10th. And so how can I tie in chat GPT with this? Well, what I did is, all right, so I went to chat GPT. I told it to write a song about Automation Guild in a rap style, copied these lyrics. I went into Uberduck. I pasted it in to text to synthesizer. I chose some rappers. I synthesized it. Rhythm staying on track. I'm caught his it's Eminem. The match go. We run the game, make him my chance do the And then took these all together and smashed them together to create this song. I just thought that was a cool kind of application of chat GPT that I, I was, I've been having a lot of fun with this myself. So definitely check that out as well. So this week, you also should definitely check out a webinar going on by Apple Tools on Cypress, Playwright, Selenium, and WebDriver, Let the Engineers Speak series. So this webinar actually goes over how the experts use the different frameworks we mentioned in their day-to-day -day operations. So in this session, they're going to ask the panel of experts to share why their teams chose Cypress, Playwright, Selenium, and WebDriver, what factors went into the decisions, and how their projects are going today. And if you really want to see coding from a head-to-head -head battle, all you need to do really is go into chat GPT and type. So I typed in, write an automation testing script in Playwright that goes to testskill.com and enters the text automation. And then it generates the Playwright script for me. I also thought, hey, let's try this by adding the Apply Tools Eyes SDK to the same exact script to verify some images. And once again, it took that script that it already wrote and it just inserted the code we need for Apple Tools Eyes as well. And while I was at it, I just decided to do the same thing using Cypress. So it generated the Cypress script for me. I tried Selenium with Python, it generated that for me. And I also tried WebDriver IO and it created that for me as well. Next up, performance testing news. So this next article is performance testing Kafka using Gatling. I don't see a lot of resources in this area, so I thought I'd share this with you. The article starts off by saying Gatling does not support load testing for Kafka applications out of the box. And this can be an issue as Kafka is highly used, which only increases the need to ensure the performance is succeeding. And despite Gatling not supporting Kafka, this article goes over how they still load tested it with the use of a plugin. The article goes step by step on the environment, the plugin, a script example with some final notes. Speaking of Gatling, let's see how ChatGPT handles Gatling, how it would write an automated script using it. So, once again, I went to ChatGPT and I wrote, write a Gatling performance test script for testguild.com. Next up, security testing news. And this goes over how ChatGPT is changing the way cybersecurity practitioners look at the potential of AI. So this article goes really into detail on some real potential and real limitations of this technology that you definitely should check out for yourself. And then the ChatGPT actually wrote a bunch of different issues that was wrong with the line of code I typed in here. So as you can see, ChatGPT could be used for multiple different ways, especially with automation performance and security testing. And for links of everything of value we covered in this news episode, head on over to links in the first comment down below. And while you're there, make sure to check out our sponsor, Apply Tools free account offer and discover how to take your automation testing to the next level, leveraging visual AI. So that's it for this episode of the Test Guild News Show. I'm Joe. My mission is to help you succeed in creating end-to-end -end full stack automation awesomeness. As always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.